Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday, the 31st of August 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Singler, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can visit the website at www.tradesingler.com and you can download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now let's try and decipher exactly uh, what happened overnight in order to uh, gauge the next direction for Europe. The Nikkei certainly finished up uh, almost a percentage point. You had the Shanghai up 0.3%. Okay, so certainly uh, bullish bias there in terms of the US markets yesterday. Certainly hurt by the Apple um, potential uh, tax uh, lawsuit or filing uh, with regards to unpaid taxes. So again, US markets certainly uh, spooked also by Fisher's comments of potential rate hikes. He certainly seems to be a negative force now for the uh, stock market. So again, uh, you have uh, the Mr. Fisher effect and then you have the Apple tax effect. Now, will that actually last into the uh, European markets? Now, Asian markets have certainly ignored that altogether. We talk of QE overnight from, uh, uh, I can't remember the chap's name now, there's so many of them, okay, in terms of uh, talking about buying foreign bonds. Uh, and again, you can see the U uh, Aussie U uh, oh, sorry, USD JPY above the 103 level. So, Again, you are looking at risk on overnight, okay, uh, in, and certainly ignoring the, the weakness in the U.S. markets led, led by mainly the uh, the price of oil, okay. You had the oil supply data certainly stronger than expected, which again affected oil. Uh, and for, for now, oil prices are potentially into support, which I'll certainly discuss shortly. Okay, in terms of economic data this morning, let's just uh, go through that with you, okay. So retail sales from Germany stronger than expected. Uh, consumer CPI data, so basically inflation data still muted. Still weak in the eurozone. Again, arguing for more QE. Okay, in terms of unemployment data from Germany, stronger than expected. Okay, and uh, certainly <clears throat> supports the bullish bias in terms of uh, the German DAX moving higher. Uh, unemployment rate in the uh, eurozone certainly uh, uh, slightly higher overall. So it certainly seems to be a disparity between Germany and the rest of the eurozone. Okay, CPI data came in slightly weaker again. Uh, in obviously. Uh, supporting the argument that you need more further QE, okay? So, so certainly an interesting scenario, okay? Okay, so in terms of the Eurozone overall, you certainly have a, uh, the unemployment rate certainly coming in weaker, okay? CPI data again weaker, so again, supporting the argument for more potential QE down the road. Given the fact that Mr. Draghi's uh, potential uh, meeting is only a week away, that certainly will support that argument, okay? So again, looking for more QE. Okay, now let's look at the technical picture. Now let's start off with the German DAX, folks. Okay, daily chart of the German DAX. Again, just trading sideways. From my perspective, you are looking at testing that 10750 zone again on the back of obviously uh, stronger German data today, stronger retail sales, weaker euro, certainly a win win situation. Uh, for, so from now, for now, I'm certainly looking for a potential retest at 107, 1068, 10690, and then the next resistance is 10710. And you have 10740 as well. So those are the two zones I'm looking for. In terms of the market uh, reaction, you are holding gap fill resistance for now, which is sort of um, interesting. Let's just say interesting for now. Again, looking for 10690 to be clipped. You have the unfilled gap below at 10540. So again, certainly need to be aware of that uh, in terms of uh, the price action. Okay, so again, certainly some interim or short term weakness for now. Uh, the French CAC certainly has taken out and uh, pushed to new highs. So again, good news. Uh, looking at the 60-minute chart, you're looking at the next resistance level now. It's at 4,500 and potentially higher. You had a bull flag on the French CAC. Again, a weaker euro, stronger data certainly supports the uh, bullish argument. So again, take that into consideration in terms of the next maneuver there in terms of French CAC. And again, looking to push higher and retest that 4,530 zone for me. Okay, in terms of the FTSE 100, certainly lagging at the moment. Uh, again, you had some bullish comments from the Saudi minister. Uh, again, are supporting higher oil prices. I, I was expecting this inverted head and shoulders formation. It hasn't transpired as of yet. So again, certainly surprised. Uh, in terms of oil, you have the oil certainly coming into support now. If you look at the price of oil on the daily chart, you can see that we are into horizontal support. Uh, key area of support, diagonal trend line support, and also you. I did uh, highlight the fact that you had the USD card into resistance now. USD card into resistance. US dollar certainly into resistance as well. You can see the daily chart. The US dollar now putting in a doji, 
indicating a potential move lower for our chart inverted head and shoulders formation is complete and now looking for weakness on the dollar okay so again looking for higher prices here uh, in terms of uh, the FTSE again looking for a move back up to the uh, 6830 potentially higher zone and looking for IHS to play out you have the 60 minutes you have a bottoming tail that certainly has been confirmed and therefore looking for higher prices on the FTSE you have this inverted head and shoulders formation on the back of uh, a uh, all prices obviously being into support looking to reverse higher FTSE looking to uh, put in his right shoulder and certainly looking to rip higher as well so again bear that in mind so you are looking for an inverted head and shoulders formation uh, and reversal okay on the FTSE 100 and looking to uh, to certainly push higher up to the 6890 6900 so so again that certainly must be taken into consideration for the FTSE 100 now let me just quickly save this chart so I can say, share this on Twitter and obviously uh, social media. So again, looking for a potential thrust on the FTSE 100. Let's bring up the chart of the Euro stocks for now. Again, like I said, the European equity is supported by a weaker Euro and obviously stronger data as well. You have the Euro stocks closing the gap here at 30.46, okay. But certainly in room for more, uh, more of a, a move higher, given the fact that you have a weaker Euro, stronger German data today as well. You have the next gap, which is at 3.123. So don't be surprised that next gap is closed okay so again looking for gap fill so look for the potential next resistance level above okay so i think that's a market wrap i will do a us market video for now uh, no no other concern other than the fact obviously you have asian markets higher overnight so european you uh, european markets are except to uh, potentially follow that trend and uh, given the fact that oil prices are now into support you should see the moving the aussie and the kiwi higher as well Okay, be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and take advantage of that 25% bonus.